Hey guys, Brad here. Today I'm going to show you a tool that every carpenter should have and how to use it. Before I get to it, make sure you subscribe, hit that notify bell, and give me a thumbs up. It really does help out the channel. Let's get to it. So this is a contour gauge. Now if you're a carpenter, a floor layer, any kind of construction really, these things are so handy to have. So imagine you're laying some flooring down and you maybe have some old pipes. I've just got a piece of ABS here. More likely you'd have some copper pipe coming up for a floor heat or baseboard heat, something like that. But you never know, you might have a pipe coming up. So if I wanna cut around this and I just don't know exactly what dimension this is, you could take a contour gauge and just press up against that pipe. So now that I have this, I can pull it back and I can just trace it out on my flooring just like that. Now you can cut this out and it should fit perfectly. Obviously that was real quick and dirty guys, but you get the idea. Contour gauges are super helpful, not only if you're just using it on ABS pipe or plumbing or whatever, but if you're going up against baseboard, you're doing some coping maybe, and you really wanna transfer a profile from one thing to another, that's where these contour gauges come in handy. I have so many different ones. This is one by rack it's a contour gauge 10 inch pretty cool i'll leave a link down below with this gauge you can actually lock it in place so when you're moving maybe you're up a ladder or something it won't actually come out of position so that's a cool feature to have you also have metric and imperial on this so having some measurements on a contour gauge is pretty nice because you could center it up so this is 10 inches we've got a five inch mark you could mark a center line right here on your board. And then you could just center this up. I'll flip it around here. You could just center up your mark and you could actually, if you really wanted to, mark right on this, which one is the center piece. So there you go, that's the center line. And we'll mark it all the way down to the bottom. So now I know that that is my center. And then when I go up to my post, let's say, push it in. I know I'm dead center. Then I can reline this up with my center line, mark it out. So that's just a little tip. If you don't have a center line marked on your gauge, you can always just draw one on there. All kinds of little things you can do to make your job easier, more productive, and make that money. All right, guys, hope the video was helpful. Remember, make sure you subscribe, hit that notify bell, and again, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Till next time, keep on crushing it, and we'll catch you later.